Grand Masu Ayana is a park in Sri Lanka. It sits on approximately 40 acres, 16 hectares, and is a noted example of Sri Lankan garden architecture of the pre-Christian era. According to an inscription found in Visajariya, the water to the park was supplied by Tesawiwa and then released to rice fields around this year in Muni Vihara. Even before Buddhism was introduced to Sri Lanka in the mid-3rd century BC, parks were a definite feature of city planning. Some of these parks were Mahamega Park established by King Mutasiva in the 3rd century BC, Nanadana Park and the Jothavana. But with the arrival of the great Mahinda Thero in 250 BC, all these parks were donated to Sangha community by King Devanam Piyathissa, 250-210 BC. The originator of this garden is lost in the history, but Ranmasu Ayana was probably established as an alternate to all the parks donated to the Mahasanga. It is believed that the Prince Saliya, the son of the great hero King Dutijanunu, 161-131 BC, met his future bride to be Asokamala, who was of a lower caste of Chandala at this garden. If this is true, this garden would probably been established right after the other parks were donated. Today this park covers an hour of Aprox. 40 acres, and is a fine example of Sri Lankan garden architecture of the pre-Christian era. According to an inscription found in Visajariya, the water to the park was supplied by Tesawav R, and then released to rice fields around this Uramuni Vihara. The rocks scattered around the area were used by the architect to create this pleasure garden. In one place two rock boulders have been connected to each other with stone slabs. Remains of a small building can be seen on these platforms. Below the rocks there are three bathing ponds and some smaller ponds, which probably held the goldfish and water lilies. The largest is to the northern side with room cut into the stone. This room measures 7 feet x 6 feet. Dot on the sides of the cave-like room are beautifully sculpted elephants bathing on a lotus pond. On the southern side of the rocks another pond with two units. On the inner unit there is a chamber built with slabs of rock. This probably was a changing chamber for the royal family. Pranavatar also believed that this joined ponds made a shower bath where the royals were sprayed from water jets.
Each of these ponds are designed with precision irrigation techniques, so that the water from Tissa Weaver passed through all the ponds and tanks in the garden, before releasing them for irrigation work. Ranmasu Ayana is situated north to the Icy Rumilia. You can reach the park over the Bund of Tisoiva and through a small path which falls to the Icy Rumilia car park area. Ranmasu Ayana has been raining thorns for centuries. The stone slabs used for the ponds in this garden were later taken to other constructions. Also, some carvings have been taken away by treasure thieves. In 1901, HWCP Mr. Bell has reported. Subsequently, around 1940, the Department of Archaeology began conservation work here. Accordingly, the Department of Archaeology has repaired the ponds at this site by using imitation stones to replace the stone slabs which were in short supply. Many of the structures we see today are believed to have been made around the 9th or 10th century. Spread over an area of about 40 acres, the park features ponds. The main pond is square. Its sides are 20 feet 10 inches long. There is a staircase leading out of the pond to the right. The length of one side of the bottom of the pond is 18 feet 10 inches, as the side walls are made of two layers. The depth of the pond is 4 feet 6 inches. There is an opening at the bottom northeast for drainage. There is another small pond just beyond. It also has a stream house. On either side is a beautiful stone carving depicting waterfowl. An examination of the manner in which water was supplied to these ponds and the park shows that the ancient Hellas knew an excellent water management technique. These ponds are supplied with water from the Tissa Lake, which is about 30 feet above the ponds. Therefore, the water obtained from the sluice of the tank at low pressure is taken from the canal and drained to the ponds through a system of drains and a length of about 2650 feet. The water brought from the sluice is first brought to the house called Kelajea, and from there to the small pond, and then to the large pond. These ponds are connected to the surface by drains as well as by underground tunnels. Apart from these two main ponds, there were many other small ponds in the garden, which were used for cultivating aquatic plants and raising animals such as ornamental fish and swans. There were many other canals that supplied water to those ponds and gardens that were built for landscaping. These waterways are similar to the nervous system in the human body, CP Mr. Bell said. The water flowing from the ponds in this garden is used for cultivating the paddy fields below. In the past, the Ranmasu Ayana may have been a garden of beautiful carved water sports and relaxing buildings, fish, whales, etc. It was here that King Dutijamunu's son Prince Saliya may have met a Shokamala. Many of the monuments we see in Anuratapur are related to religious themes. But the ruins of the Golden Fish Garden today testify to the fact that the Hellas of that time enjoyed worldly pleasures, but they were full of art, creativity and technical knowledge. And Anuratapura, including this park, has been a UNESCO World Heritage Site since 1982.
intensifying the uniqueness of the natural environment, with their creative skills and technical know-how, they came across a magnificent garden decoration made by the ancient Hellas, about 200 meters north of the Isurunili temple in Anuratapura. That's it. The Mahavamsa states that during the reign of King Vasava, the gardens and ponds of the city of Anuratapura were made into paspium, and animals such as fish and swans were created. Accordingly, this park may have been very beautiful from the earliest times of Anuratapura. Hidden on the side of a boulder face at the and Masoyana left parenthesis, the Royal Goldfish Park, sandwiched between the Disawiwa and the Isirumi Yurok Temple at Anuradhapura, is a unique artifact of, of the ancient Sri Lanka, which is locally known as Bawa Chakraya, or the Sakwala Chakraya, the center of the chakra is filled by a large circle, comprising seven concentric rings, within a square one foot two inches, to which cross lines are drawn vertically and horizontally from the encircling hand, cutting the chakra into quadrants. Further, parallel lines divide the circles vertically into 10 strips, or slices, varying in width from 3 inches to 9 inches, but matching to left and right of the central vertical line. This is a circular petroglyph is 6 feet in diameter with strange symbols, and has attracted historians and archaeologists to prehistoric investigators to believers of extraterrestrials. According to the Archaeological Survey report of H.C.P. Bell in 1911, the center of the chakra is filled by a large circle comprising seven concentric rings, within a square one foot two inches, to which cross lines are drawn vertically and horizontally from the encircling hand, cutting the chakra into quadrants. Further, parallel lines divide the circles vertically into ten strips, or slices, varying in width from three inches to nine inches, but matching to left and right of the central vertical line. 